than to move with other things and without him moses was wise remember when they left egypt i hope you know they did not live empty they left with gold remember they left with a lot of things moses would have said we have gold if enemies come to capture us we'll just negotiate with them and say okay we are not empty we have gold but he said if your presence will not go with us do not take us away from here let's finish that scripture 16. he says for wherein shall it be known here that i and thy people have found grace in your sight is it not in that thou goest with us so shall we be separated or distinguished i and thy people from the people that are upon the face of the earth there is a mark that comes upon a destiny that values divine presence you carry divine presence in ministry the difference will be clear and unmistakable you carry divine presence in business you carry it in raising your children you carry it in exploring your destiny adventure some of you have thrown god so that you have space to collect money some of you threw god as a necessary you threw him away you are too much of a luggage i notice that every time i hold you when people try to offer me money i can't collect it some of you have thrown god so that you will preserve your pride the price for new dimensions number one is a deeper experience with god take your place take your place take your place take your place take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me hallelujah never let the pursuit of god become an embarrassment because of where you have arrived can i kneel down again will it be will it not be an inconvenience can i lift my hands in worship again with all my subordinates here i now run a conglomerate with offices in uk with offices in 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 russia with offices in america and all of my subordinates are there now i'm a great man of god i have a lot of sons can i be embarrassed to roll on the floor before god never get to a point where your love for god becomes a thing of shame you are already in trouble hallelujah never let your clothes be too expensive that you cannot touch the ground uh -uh. <laughs> when the ark of god was being returned back to jerusalem david who was king at that time he danced in a way that looked like he was a madman the Bible described this as an undignified dance. And his wife, who was Saul's daughter, looked at him in shame and said, Oh dear, what a foolish and stupid king. Look at how you brought reproach to yourself before your contemporaries. And he said, Let me tell you something. You, I know you are my wife, but I need to educate you. I am not dancing before this man. I am dancing before God who collected the kingdom from your father and gave it to me. David acknowledged that that rhyme he was given. He was, who would have known? Do you know there is nowhere? David was not like Joseph who had a dream that one day he would become king. The Bible never records. At least Joseph had a consolation. He was dreaming. David never knew. If you ask David in the wilderness, David, who will you become? He will say, I will become a warrior. Not knowing that, that victory was only a starting point. Someone is already celebrating success too much. You are already over celebrating a little realm. Whereas God's call and destiny for you is that he will make you captain over his inheritance. Is someone learning? The God you found in the wilderness must be the God you honor in the palace. If the God you found in the wilderness was powerful enough to bring you in the palace, you would be foolish to throw him away for Dagon. When David came and met Saul and proposed to fight Goliath, Saul said, okay, I am a king. I have the best of armory. 
take all my armory and he said king i respect you but i have my weapons that i was trained with i'm not here to come and it's not just military might i have a covenant by reason of my seeking god let me tell you the truth in this end time god will raise unassuming unusual people people who when you add them up they don't equal to the result that should be but because of their determination to seek and walk with god god will carry some things as gifts god will carry the prayer request of nations and institutions and give individuals as a testament for seeking them you believe what i'm telling you you've not seen prosperity yet until you see people who are unassuming who will be custodians of the wealth of the kingdom that god will give it to them by himself if you interview them in terms of business intelligence the truth is that you will be disappointed they don't add up yet you cannot deny the result because they sought the lord there are many many kinds of graces and anointings that have not yet been released but are coming i tell you you will see men rise who are like gods upon the earth power and dimensions miracles and the manifestations of the spirit the deaf ears and the blindness you are talking about it will be common occurrence you will not have to put a crusade for that to happen that people will be walking on the street and they will pass a mortuary and dead bodies will come back to life without the people even knowing that they were used by god to heal the sick this is what god wants to do but there is a price the price of a deeper walk with god father you have blessed me now i have a mansion now i have cars now i have influence but i count them but dung. the way i rolled 10 years ago i will see roll in your presence my clothes may have changed but my allegiance will never change my clothes may have changed but my worship will not change my car may have changed my pedigree may have changed but you still remain my god someone pray in one minute lord i repent for trying to replace you with many things on my way to greatness please pray for someone this is why you came to church